Hey guys, today is a special kind of train with me video. I asked you guys what you wanted to see for 5k and we hit 5k. By the time this video comes out, it's probably more like 6k, which is honestly so insane. I don't know, for me, I felt like 5k was a big milestone and so I asked you guys what you wanted to see and there were a lot of different things you guys wanted to see and so I tried to do all of them. We did a live stream train with me and now we're going to be doing 5k get to know you tag. I mean get to know me. And I told you guys we would do an extra long train with me. I also drew a 5k star coin art contest and honestly it's been a busy month. I just wanted you guys to know like I'm super grateful and I just wanted to give you guys all the videos that you wanted. I know there's like some new people here and even some of the people who've been here for a while might not like know the answer to some of these questions so I thought it'd be nice to just kind of like reintroduce myself. Hey I'm Rose. This is my channel. I'm writing marzipan. Okay let's get started. I don't want to train in Veildale. I've been collecting fire- What has been happening? I've been collecting fireflies for the past week because the week i'm filming this is the week they released the new hollow woods quest or like a couple weeks after they released it let's start at moorland i don't know okay i really want to get into your get to know me questions because i really want to be able to answer all of them i don't know if i'm going to be able to because there's a lot but i'll do my best okay the first person asked what's your favorite color on horse tack um if you're asking irl probably brown the tack i use irl is always brown like i ride western and so yeah like most of the tag i feel like is brown where i ride cool story and then in game i don't know i used to like go for like white a lot but now i feel like i definitely go for more blacks and browns it just depends black or brown it depends on the day and the fit the next person asked do you ride irl and if so what breed and height of horse do you ride okay yes i do ride irl i ride western usually like once a week i have lessons but because winter you know and i ride outdoors it's always kind of tough i haven't ridden much this winter which just made me a little sad but um the breed of horse I ride. He's a, an American quarter horse and he used to do like competitions, western, barrel racing, stuff like that. Um, I don't know the height of the horse I ride. I know like he's not that tall but I honestly don't even know. Um, I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong if you ride western. I like trail ride and I ride for fun and I don't really do competitions. I feel personally like when I hear people like English riders talking about horses, they like know how many hands their horse is and all this stuff <laughs> but I just don't really know about the horses I ride. I will say the horse I ride is not very tall. I mean, he's definitely not a pony. He's a horse, but the other horse I sometimes ride is very tall. And to put things in perspective, I'm like 5'9", and so yeah, like I'm pretty tall, but to me, he's not that tall. Anyways, I don't know how tall my horse is. That sounds, that sounds dumb, but it's just the truth. I get this question so often, and I feel bad because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to answer this because I don't know. They said, when did you first start playing SSO? I don't know. I could go into like the archives and find out when this account was created but this wasn't my first Star Stable account. I had a tragic loss where I lost my account password and username and access to the email for the, my old account. So I made this one. And yeah. I mean, I think this account is, I don't even know when this account was created. I could go look, but I started playing like, not like when it first came out, but not too long after that. Hopefully that answers your question. Someone said, who's your favorite SSO NPC and why? Oh my gosh. I feel like my favorite NPC changes like a lot depending, but based on the story, quests and stuff. My favorite NPC, maybe this is boring, but it's Lisa Peterson because Lisa's nice and Lisa's a homie. She can hang and she's just cool. I don't know. She didn't annoy me. Some of the NPCs annoyed me when I was doing the quest. So I was like, <sighs> not you again. Lisa's a real soul rider. Also, I feel like I really enjoy SSO music sometimes and Lisa Peterson sings most of their music and I just feel like that's, that's a vibe. I like people who are musical, I guess. Okay, someone said, which horse breeds you want SSO to add to the game that's not in the game yet? I feel like I've been looking into lots of different horse breeds recently because I've been watching a lot of IRL horse channels, but they're all like dressage and English channels. I really want them to add like, I know they have Lusitanos, but I like want them to add more Spanish breeds in the game because I really like Spanish breeds. Um, I think it'd be cool to have Shetland ponies. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any specific ones that I'm like, oh, I want this so bad, you know? Most of the breeds that I'm familiar with in real life, at least, they already have an SSO, so yeah. They said, what is one thing you miss about the old player models? I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't miss the old player models. The only thing I maybe miss is some of the clothes, like the old clothes look better on the old player models. Like, I feel like on the new players, the shirts kind of lay weird and fold in weird places, but overall, the new characters, in my opinion, are so much better. The old characters kind of looked like spiders. They said, what type of scenery do you want to see in SSO? Um, I think it'd be cool to have more of like,
like a, I don't know, more flowery areas, but I've always been saying that, but then they came out with Hola Woods and it's pretty flowery. I don't know, like a flowery field of flowers like they have in, I don't know, the Dutch tulip fields. That would be so sick, but you know. And then they said, what coat color is your favorite in-game? Oh yeah, I would say this has definitely evolved as the coats have gotten better in SSO. I used to be such a chestnut girl and now I barely ever see chestnuts I like in this game, except for the Dutch warm blood. And I always love grays, but recently I've been really into dappled grays. Um, they've done really good dappled grays in this game. And what else? I love paints always. They do great paints and great leopard coats in this game. Okay, I was going to look at my horse chart and the coat color I like the best is called flax and chestnut. I love the flax and chestnuts in this game. So I guess it is kind of chestnuts. Right now, as of right now, my favorite coat is flax and chestnuts. I'm just obsessed with them for some reason. I don't know. They're just so cute. I love the mane, how it's like lighter and the dapple is so cute. Someone said, how long have you been riding horses? Okay, well, I've been riding them since I was, uh, since I was in like third grade. I've been riding horses. I like begged my parents for lessons and they were like, okay, sure. And then I had a whole experience. Let me know if you guys want to hear like my whole riding story, horses journey story. I don't know how long it would be, but it might be fun. But yeah, since I was like in third grade and now I'll just say I'm an adult. So like a while, I did take a huge gap in between. I had like a bad experience when I was younger and then I got back into riding again three years ago, four years ago. So there was a long gap in there where I didn't ride at all. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Someone said, what was your favorite and least favorite subject at school? Um, my least favorite subject was always like English. I found English to be so boring and I always liked to read. I feel like when I was in elementary school and stuff, but like I stopped liking to read after English because they would just like pick the most boring books. And I was like, I don't know. I felt like limited because I feel like English teachers are like, this is what this means. And this is the symbolism. And you're like, why does it have to be that though? Like, why can't I think what I think? I don't know. Me personally, that's how I was. And then I always liked math and science. I'm a math and science girl. It just makes sense to me and I think it's way more interesting. So yeah, someone said this might be odd, but I'm like really into morning and nighttime routine videos. Would you ever consider doing something like that in the future? If not, here's an easier question. What were your middle school experiences like if you feel comfortable sharing? Um, I totally am also into watching morning and nighttime routine videos, but this is a gaming channel. I don't put like IRL content on here really. I think I do have like a couple IRL videos but they're like very focused on like gaming stuff like my gaming desk my room where I play SSO I don't know if this video has come out yet at the time this video is being posted I don't know about the order of my life but um I do have like a room tour video where I do not a face reveal but I do like show myself in the, in the video clip without my face I kind of want to keep this channel at this time in my life separate from my IRL because for me this channel is like an escape and I feel like it'd be weird if people I know like knew I had this channel I just like it would be weird like I feel like it would affect my life and I don't really know about that but middle school experiences I don't know middle schools like had pros and cons for me we didn't call it middle school where I grew up we called it junior high but junior is an awkward time because it's like your elementary school friends something happens to them over the summer and they all become a little bit like ghetto you know what I mean and I'm a good girl like I wasn't doing anything weird over the summer after sixth grade okay I was just I was watching star stable content or something like <laughs> Okay, but anyways, it was hard because I had to make all new friends pretty much when I got to junior high and it's like a whole adjustment to having lots of teachers, but overall I did make some really good friends and I had a lot of fun in middle school. I am a more shy person and definitely struggled making friends in school, but I think middle school was a lot of fun. I choose personally to just remember the good things and not focus on the negative. There was plenty of that too, but overall I would say I have good memories from middle school. Someone said, how many horses in SSO do you own? Also, what is your favorite SSO slash IRL horse breed. Also, I'm a huge fan. I love you so much. I'm working on my new like horse sheet and I don't know how many horses I own, but off the top of my head, over a hundred. I don't know. You can go watch a recent video of mine and I think I have 12 horse sheets full. So what is that? Like probably like 150 or something. I swear. It's changing all the time because I feel like I keep buying horses too. My favorite SSO breed. Recently, I've been really like in my early gen three horses era like the Andalusians, even the Arabians, I really like. But right now, American Paint Horses, I'm really loving American Paint Horses and Appaloosas. I don't know why, I just am. I really love Warm Bloods as well, just like any Warm Bloods. Someone said, what did you get slash do for Christmas? Yeah, we didn't do presents for Christmas this year. Um 
just because all of the kids in my family are we're like adults we're not kids anymore really we're like all over 18 so we did like a family trip to the beach instead of doing presents but i mean even though we said that we still gave each other presents which was kind of funny but i mean yeah the beach was like my main present and i did get like christmas money and stuff and i used that to buy a macbook pro so i feel like what i really got for christmas was time with my family and i bought myself this computer for christmas <laughs> someone said favorite place in star stable it used to be like silverglade area but recently i mean Veildale has been my home stable like off and on for a long time my club's main hangout is Veildale. that's like my club home stable but i've fallen back in love with it especially with the hollow woods update i feel like it's such the place to be and i think it it's my favorite place to hang out you'll see me idling at Veildale all the time i idle around on sso so much someone said how many star coins would you say you spend on average every year sorry if it doesn't make sense english isn't my first language well it makes total sense so your english is fantastic as usual you guys my non-english native english speakers you guys are actually really good at english i'm so impressed how many star coins do i spend on average every year mm, i have no idea i don't really want to look but to be fair it's way different now that i have like a fully running youtube channel because i do make money from my channel and like so i don't like lose money buying star coins i know that not everyone of course very few people can say that and that's like not normal for most people so like i totally understand most people are not able to buy star coins but i'm really grateful that thanks to my youtube channel i can afford to buy star coins when i need them i can just use my earnings from youtube um and i do have another job irl but yeah i know i understand that's not everyone's experience but also buying star coins gives me content i know that's something like a lot of youtubers say buying stuff gives me content but here's one thing that as a youtuber i think a lot of people don't say is buying things is fun okay <laughs> I don't buy them for the YouTube channel. I buy them because I genuinely like want all these horses and I love collecting stuff in this game. It's like an addiction, okay? So. But how many star coins do I spend? I have no idea. But I do buy double star coins when not every time there's a double star coin weekend, but maybe every, I don't know, like three to five times a year. That's so bad. But that's just this year. I feel like before that I didn't, I never really bought star coins as much because I didn't have money to do so. So, you know, it just depends. It's different every year. Someone said, can you do an all my horses vid? I really need to. I know that but i just keep buying more horses and so i'm like how current it wouldn't stay current for very long but i could do like a very quick like here's all my horses vid and i really need to do that <laughs> i'll try i'll try i'll do my best someone said are you more of an active person or are you more of a couch potato love ya thanks illy and definitely say I'm, I'm an active person over the winter i kind of hibernate a little bit and become a couch potato but that's because there's nothing to do outside i like to exercise and i like to walk outside and do stuff outside but you really can't in the winter where i live the weather is quite bad so but i enjoy being active like i like to do yoga i like to do hot yoga I ride horses, I like to go for walks, I like to play tennis, like I like to be active and I know that I say like I'm so lazy but I'm actually not a lazy person at all, like I work very hard and I feel like I'm pretty productive with my time. I like to be doing stuff all the time so I don't think I'm a couch potato. Someone said would you become friends with your fans? Well here's the thing and like this is such a, this is a great question and I feel like I've, I watch a lot of YouTube and I feel like when you watch YouTube you feel like you know the person but like the weird thing about it is like you make this content and people feel like they're like they know you and they watch all your videos it's kind of weird because like i feel like i don't really get to know you guys back you know what i mean and i love when i like meet fans and game and stuff but like it's also kind of like weird because i'm an adult sso player and i know a lot of my subscribers are a lot younger so i think it'd be kind of weird to be friends with people who are like not adults you know what i mean i'm like happy to know you guys and you can join the discord server and i talk to all of the subscribers but as far as like doing videos with people and like hanging out in game when it's not like kind of like a sponsored event that I'm doing or something. I feel like it'd be kind of weird. <laughs> I hope this isn't coming off bad. It just means it's kind of like um kind of like hanging out with strangers and I don't know it just would be kind of weird. I don't know if you're asking like friend requests but I don't accept friend requests on my main account because it's hard for me to like keep track of who people are if I don't know who they are on my friends list and they're logging in and logging off and like who are all these people <laughs> you know so I don't for that reason. Someone said do you speak other languages? Um not well. When 
When I was in high school, I took French and then I did a little bit of ASL, but that's not really speaking. Um, so I've dabbled and I really enjoy learning other languages. I'm not fluent in any language beside English though, no. Someone said, how many horses do you own? None IRL, but in game, too many. Someone said, hi Rose, hope you're having a good day. Congrats on 5k by the way, or are you on 6k now? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm on 6k now, which is insane. They said, what are your tips for growing an SSO YouTube channel? I currently have an edits one. It gained around 5,000 subs. Oh wait, I, <laughs> I was reading that as 5,000 subs the first day. I'm like, how did you get 5,000 subs the first day? Okay, it took me three years to get 5,000 subs. So <laughs> five subs the first day, I made it, but now it's stuck at 13. What did you do to make it grow more? Honestly, don't know. I don't know how the algorithm works. I feel like I know some people and I see their channel and they have like 5,000 subs, but like no videos. And I'm like, I wonder like if some people like pay for their subscribers. Like I know people do that, but I don't really feel like I always wanted to have organic followers who actually watched my videos and interacted with me. Like I didn't want to, I don't know, a lot of people do contests or like you, one of the rules of the contest is you have to follow me. And But I've always been like, I don't want people to follow me like for a contest. I want them to follow me because they like my content. So honestly, I tried to grow followers organically, like building a relationship with your subscribers and just being yourself. And I feel like I don't really know how to tell other people what to do. You just kind of have to make videos consistently and hopefully it's something people want to watch. Be genuine, be yourself. I don't know, man. Like, that's a tough question. <laughs> I am, yes, I'm trailering to Silverglade Manor because I'm lazy as frick. They said, what are your goals for work slash college? Um, I don't really want to talk about like what I do for work or study because I don't know. I've gotten better since I started my channel, but I'm still scared of the internet a little bit. <laughs> like putting my personal information out there. Um, they said, how did you find out about SSO? I found out about SSO on Google. Like it came up, I feel like maybe through YouTube or something, like an ad came up for SSO because I played all the horse games as a kid and I was like, whoa, this game looks actually good because I mean, all of you guys who've also played horse games, all the horse games that we thought were good sucked compared to this game. Like this game is the best horse game I've ever played and probably ever will play. But yeah, just through like ads. So I'm grateful they put out ads because otherwise I wouldn't have been on the SSO train, you know? Someone said, would you consider doing more? I joined a real play flat show from Global. Yeah, that video like surprised me because I just did it on a whim and it like blew up and I have a lot of subscribers from that video. Of course, I want to do more videos like that, but I also like feel like I need to give it a little bit of time because whenever I've joined flat shows ever since doing that video, like just for fun or with friends, like everyone in the flat show is just like, Rose, we all watched your video and there's like talking to the whole flat show, which I is really fun. But for a video, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like that would make it less like unbiased or I don't know. It's more like people like chasing me <laughs> and less of a flat show. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to do a, a jumping elimination flat show soon but i also have other content i want to make too okay someone said what is one of your biggest dreams in life it can be from when you were a kid or now and have you completed it or are you working to complete it now honestly like one of my biggest dreams in life right now i feel like is to eventually be able to own my own horse and have like i don't know the setup to own a horse because the whole like leasing horses thing freaks me out and i don't know if i'm like there yet to the point where i can be responsible enough to fully take care of a horse it is so much of a commitment and and I'm really busy right now with my life. Like I have a lot going on. So, and I don't have the money to take care of a horse, board a horse, the time to ride it and take care of it. Cause if you ride horses, you know, vet bills are common <laughs> and all the things. Um, I would love to own a horse. And I think that's one goal. I don't know if I'm working towards it actively, but like, I'm just kind of hoping that it falls into place when the time is right. Someone said, if money wasn't an option, where would you travel to? And what would you do there? I think either they mean, if money wasn't an obstacle i would probably go to like the english to england i've never been to england um and i really want to go to london but also i want to really want to go to like the english countryside like it'd be so cool i'd probably just want to stay and live there so it'd be kind of dangerous for me to go there someone said do you ride irl if so what discipline do you do and if you don't what would you do also congratulations on 5k been here since you were in the hundreds dude bro there's some of you out still out there i'm a little embarrassed you've probably seen some things i'm not proud of i don't know Thank you for being here. Still, that's insane. Um, I do ride. I ride Western and I don't really do a discipline. I just, I'm a ride around and frolic in the fields with my horse. Like 
I don't, it's the least disciplined writing ever, but I would like to try English writing at some point. Try an English saddle. I've never ridden in an English saddle in my entire life because I've always ridden Western when I was younger and now. Someone said, hello Rose, I have a question for you. If you could get any type of pet bird, what would it be? Dude, I don't know about birds. I don't know about them because they're loud and they, they make a lot of noise. <laughs> Um, oh, you know what? I'd get a flamingo, hands down. Flamingo. Those things are freaking cool. And it could live outside in my pond or something. The only problem is I don't have a pond. Someone said, if you feel comfortable sharing, what was slash is your worst high school experience? I'm comfortable sharing it because I'm not in high school anymore. Um, high school was a little rough, I'm sure, for all of us. It's a weird time. I have a lot of, like, awkward, funny experiences, and I can mostly look back with good memories, but I do have a couple memories. Most of them are in peace or gym where I went to school you had to do it all four years and as you can imagine some rough things happened one time I when I was like a junior in high school so you know we're like 16 17 we're like old okay our EE coach was like this I don't know high fit lady or something and she was like hey we're gonna do we had like units in PE where we had to like do a unit for a month or something anyways the unit we were on was gymnastics which first of all give me a break like I I'm it's so cool if you actually know how to do gymnastics but like none of us knew how to do gymnastics she made us create a floor routine with groups that we didn't get to choose and then perform the routine in front of the whole class which i mean pretty much any type of presentation was my least favorite memory of high school because i hated presentations they were awful embarrassing and shameful but that is the worst thing you can ask a bunch of high schoolers to do anyways i had to do a floor routine including somersaults and random hand in the air weird poses <laughs> and like keep in mind half of my high school is like ghetto as frick so they're just like watching this and participating in this and it was weird i wasn't okay with it. <laughs> looking back honestly it's pretty funny and i'm glad it happened just for the memories i guess okay i got another person asking hello rose my question for you are if you could get any pet bird what would it be that's such a random question <laughs> um do you think you will ever get 10k i think you will yeah i used to not think so but i think i might i mean i'm at six almost i mean that that's my next, I guess, goal is to get 10k. That'd be so freaking cool, but I think I might. We'll see. <laughs> Someone said, how do you come up with video ideas? Okay, this is actually something I do want to talk about. I get a lot of people asking me, I don't know, I feel like you definitely have to, uh, I don't like, I know how to say this. Don't make a YouTube channel because you want to be famous. I feel like that's very common because I feel like that's like not a good reason to do something just because you want to be seen or like you want a lot of likes or attention. Like then you don't actually like the thing you're doing. I made a YouTube channel channel because I really like making videos. I really like editing them. I really like the creative aspect. I enjoy the process so much. So for me, coming up with video ideas is not draining. This is like my hobby. I do this for fun because I like it. I get so many people saying, I want to start a YouTube channel, but I don't even know what I would do. And I'm like, then probably don't start a YouTube channel because a good reason to start a YouTube channel is because you want to like release that creative energy and that outlet. But like a bad reason to start a youtube channel is because you want to be sso famous or something i don't know i'd say make something you're passionate enough about that ideas will just come i never sit down and think about ideas and like i have never in my whole life been like i don't know what to film never not once have i ever felt like that i always have at least 10 ideas I want to film but don't have time to do. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I like think that would be so fun. And that's just how my mind works. Like there has to be a balance between making videos that kind of everybody makes and then having your own ideas. But I don't know. I can't emphasize enough. Don't make a channel if you don't really want to make the channel. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people romanticize having a channel. It's not that complicated. It's really just people who like making videos. And if you don't like making videos and coming up with ideas, you probably won't enjoy it. I hope that didn't discourage anyone but also I do feel like that's a huge problem right now with people kind of our age is everyone wants a YouTube channel but I think a lot of people just want the effects like the results of a YouTube channel and not like the actual making of the content which the whole reason I started because I enjoy making the content I'm actually kind of uncomfortable with having so many people want to know about me sometimes it freaks me out okay um someone said how do you grow your YouTube channel I don't know consistently uploading and I guess making content that luckily people like and then they said 
how do you edit your videos, I use iMovie. I've made videos on how, to, how I edit my YouTube videos because I'm a Mac player. I don't know if I would take my advice on editing because I use iMovie. <laughs> Someone said, how do you increase your views and subscribers? I feel like you don't control that. Make a good thumbnail and hope for the best. <laughs> um, someone said, how do you deal with negative comments and haters? I luckily don't get a lot of haters, but when I do, I just block them. Like, I don't really care if people hate me. Like, I don't feel like I do anything rude. So like, it's obviously not about me. <laughs> it's about them. There's a lot of hate on the internet. We don't need more of it. So I'm not really going to spend a lot of time thinking about people who hate me because in reality, they don't even know me. So I, it doesn't like personally affect me luckily at all, but I just delete them. But I don't get a lot of them. Most of you guys are very nice. Someone said, what was your first ever SSO club? How many SSO horses do you have? If you know, have you ever had any other nicknames other than Rose? How long have you played SSO? Thanks for reading. Love your vid so much. I feel like I answered most of those questions, but as far as having other nicknames, I feel like I did have other nicknames in like old clubs, but I don't remember them at all. And Rose is the longest nickname I've had that I actually like. The other ones I feel like were not like a real thing. Rose is the only nickname I've had since like actually having a channel and like on this account. Okay, someone said, hi Rose, it's your fan lady Rose Gate slash Lillian. I love watching them so very much. Please do more in the near future. No one's on my questions. Which pony breed is your favorite? It doesn't have to be just one. Mm, I really like the Dartmoors and the Gotlands. Which magical horse past or now do you like the most out of all? I really liked the Halloween magical horses and but right now my favorite is like the magical like the winter shire they came out with. It's like the black and white paint shire. What are you in your victory to explore doing quests in? I don't have any quests anymore and but obviously Hollow Woods is the best area right now in the game that I like the most. What's your favorite pet that you own in game? Probably my white and black cat. I use that the most. What's your biggest pet peeve in Star Stable and IRL? Well, I can never think of my pet peeves when people ask me, but it's people who are ne overly negative and people who are mean feel like they have to drag other people down to make themselves feel good. It's not fun to be around people like that. In SSO, it's people who talk in global and are like being inappropriate. It bothers me so much. Rome rolls bother me so much in this game i'm like why like ew someone said does pineapple belong on pizza it does to me someone said hi rose i love your bid so much here are my questions what is your dream worse coat markings breed what is your favorite childhood memory what is your favorite thing to do when sad slash bored my like dream horse would probably be a dapple gray not like a like a like a super gray because i feel like they would be really hard to clean a dapple gray would be so pretty i don't know like about breeds very much the only horses i've really ridden are like american quarter horses probably a warm blood of some sort my favorite childhood memory i don't know i just liked to play outside on my scooters with my brother and that was like what i wanted to do every day or just like playing a horse game or like animal crossing after a long day it brings back all the chill memories <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do when sad or bored? Um, when I'm sad, I, w I watch sad movies because then it makes me feel like, uh, their life is way worse than mine. But I don't get sad very often, I'm not gonna lie. Someone said, hey, I have a few questions for you. Do you like swimming? Like, I like it okay, but also it's kind of like when you get in the water, you're like, hey, like, what do I even do then? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's boring a little bit. Someone said, do you have any allergies? Um, actually, no. I'm a little bit allergic to walnuts, but I still eat them. <laughs> so I guess I'm not that allergic someone said what's your favorite savory food i love curry it's my favorite what's your favorite sweet food i love fruit like mangoes and stuff or like gummy bears they said do you like sushi i don't like fish but i really like avocado rolls i know that might be offensive to you but it's just the truth someone said do you like to read i go through phases right now i'm in not in a reader phase but i'll go through a phase where i'll read like 10 books in a row and then i'll go through like two years where i don't read a single book so if i do read i don't really like to read fantasy very much i like to read like historical fiction and like autobiographies and biographies and stuff i don't know one thing about me is i'm very interested in people and their stories like i'm very fascinated by reading about people's stories so i'm more likely to listen to a podcast about someone's life story than i am to read a book someone said starbucks or caribou i don't even know what caribou is so i guess starbucks i don't actually drink um coffee or because it's bad for me but um i like to get their pink 
string. And I like their plain bagels. Okay, someone said, if you could have any three pets in the world, no limitations whatsoever, like a polar bear, would be happy living on your balcony, what would you have? Probably a fox, a horse, no doubt. And I'd get a Australian Shepherd. I know that's like boring, but I actually want good, I like want pets. I don't want a polar bear at all. Someone said, do you live on your own? Okay, I actually do. Currently live in an apartment and I have, I live here on my own. Please don't come murder me. Um... Unless it's like a Sunday night, then that's fine because I hate Mondays. Someone said, do you care about family over friends? Definitely. I am definitely care about my family way more than friends. And I'm the kind of person that has a few close friends, but I'd rather go hang out with my family any day. Pet or dog? Mm, dog. Favorite TV show? Mm, it changes. I'll just tell you the most recent TV show that I watched. It was a K-drama and it was called Goblin. That was pretty good. I recommend it if you like subtitled movies. Taylor Swift or Ariana Grande? Neither. <laughs> yeah, Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande are like really good singers and very talented, but they're not my style of music. I listen to more indie and rock. Will you ever do a collab with anybody? I mean, yeah, I do collabs with Cece all the time, but I'm not gonna do collabs with like random people, you know, because that's weird. Well, I have a lot of people ask me in game. People come up to me and be like, do you know so-and-so? It's like some big YouTuber. I'm like, just because we both have YouTube channels, we don't have like, we don't know each other. Have you ever thought about doing RRP? Yeah, right now I'm filming an RRP right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite genre, but I've had fun doing this one. It's based on like actual experiences I've had, but I have no interest in doing RRPs that are like things I've never done. Someone said, do you like cheese? Um, no, I actually don't. I don't really like dairy at all. Someone said, what three words would you use to describe yourself? I would say humor, because sense of humor is really important to me. Not just like my own, but like I like people who are funny and lighthearted. Um, I'd say nice because I'm pretty nice and I'd say hardworking because I do work very hard and sometimes work too hard. <laughs> Someone asked a bunch of questions but I already answered two of them but I'll answer this one. What games do you play outside of SSO? I play a lot of games outside of SSO. I play Alicia, Jinjin Impact, Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, mm, Fortnite sometimes, Lego games, <laughs> Lego Star Wars and stuff, um, Battlefront sometimes. I used to play Toontown. Comment Toontown if you want me to do a video of me playing on my old Toontown account or something that I think that would be so freaking funny. Yeah, I play a lot of games. Someone said, hey Rose, my questions are, what are your main goals in life? How long will you play SSO for? What is your favorite region in game? What place would you like to visit IRL? Thanks so much for answering. Love your vid. Um, people always ask, what's your main goal in life? I don't know. I'm just living my life and my goal is to like just be happy, you know? How long will I play SSO for? Well, it's not like I'm just gonna stop playing SSO all of a sudden. I feel like the time when people usually stop playing is like after high school or something, but I already passed that point and I'm somehow still playing this game so probably I'll always play. Maybe not as much as now but like I'm not planning on quitting anytime soon. Um someone said do you love the Appaloosa still? Actually yeah I do. They're really 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 cute and they're I'm going back to my Appaloosas a lot more recently. It's funny that you asked that. Someone said will you do a face reveal? No I really don't want to. And then someone said what is your subscriber goal for this year? I don't know about this year but I think it'd be cool to hit 10k eventually. And they said what's your favorite book series? Mine is The Hunger Games. I don't know if I have a favorite a book series right now. I like Harry Potter, but I don't even, I haven't even read a book series in a long time. Right now in our Discord server, we're having a Harry Potter movie marathon, so <laughs> join the Discord server if you want to watch a Harry Potter movie every weekend. It's amazing. Someone's like, what's your favorite thing to do when riding horses? Games, trail rides, etc. Definitely trail rides. And I like to learn new things. Like recently I was tr trying to learn at my lessons how to do lead changes, which turns out to be really hard. And I definitely favor, which is weird because I'm right-handed but I tend to like favor my left side so my horse always takes the left lead and so I'm learning how to try to like balance myself so my horse can take the right lead and I've only successfully done it once. You can tell I'm not like an English rider because most I feel like that's a pretty basic thing to know how to do lead changes. Someone said what color is your hair? Um you can see it in my tour I showed my hair. I think it was kind of dirty but sorry. <laughs> dirty blonde with like some reddish. I don't know. I really don't know what color it is. You can see yourself because I did show my hair in the video where I redo my room. Um, what's your eye color? My eye color is blue. They said, if you get to 10k, can we get a name reveal? No, I don't really want to share my personal information on the internet. This is like, this channel is not about me. It's about horses. I mean, I'm never going to say never, but like, as long as this is an SSO account, like, I don't feel the need to like, put my face on it. Um, someone's, um, how old are you? I don't want to share my age, but I'm over 18. Um, you and your brother's face reveal? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I'm definitely not putting my brother's face on the internet. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, what's your opinion on toe socks? I feel like it's a wedgie for your feet. Like, it seems very uncomfortable. Okay, and this is the last one I'm gonna read. Someone said, hey Coco, here are some of my Q&A questions. I'll try to keep this short. I didn't know if it should be IRL questions or SSO questions, so here's a mix of both. I feel like it is a mix of both. Sorry if it's too personal, but do you have blonde hair? If not, I have a feeling you have brown. <laughs> when you go out to the SSO restaurants, what's your favorite thing to order? And where is your favorite restaurant? I don't have a favorite SSO restaurant, but I usually get like tea or something. Um, in SSO, do you prefer people to call you Coco or Rose? Um, I don't care either one, it's fine. Rose is the name that like I go by, but Coco is the name that people who don't like know me very well call me. Um, I think this is already really long, so I'll end it here. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Can't wait to see this video. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully this was everything you guys dreamed of. And I know like suddenly in my video at some point it got dark all of a sudden, but just know I'm filming this. It's 10 p.m. right now, but I turned on the morning time and i don't know when it glitched probably way early in the video but now it's dark <laughs> anyways hopefully you guys got to know me a little better if you're new to this channel we have answered some of the questions you've had and have an amazing day or night and thanks for watching bye I'm on the nice, you never guess. i've been hiding a monster keeping it quiet i don't want